In this video, I want to explain how a sump pump works, or really how a great sump pump system works. And that's what you see here. They, these things are called sump pumps because they sit in a sump, which is this, I mean, there's different ways to do it, but this is a, a cylindrical opening that goes through the floor of the basement. I mean, this is the floor here, that's the soil. Usually there's some kind of a plastic liner with holes in it just to keep the dirt out but to let the water in so the the idea is that uh, the sump pump will pump the water that forms underneath the floor of the basement up and out through these pipes before that water saturation in the soil gets high enough to start leaking into your basement so some basements with sump pumps their pumps only run occasionally a few times a year maybe after heavy rain other houses have some pumps that pretty well run all the time depending on the ground conditions so if if your basement has a sump pump or it needs one to stay perfectly dry then you're going to want to look at a setup like this because this arrangement delivers a lot more um, reliability to the situation so let's start looking here. This is a regular 120 volt plug-in sump pump. And it's the submersible type. There's an older type where the electric pump is actually up in the air. And there's a shaft that goes all the way down and the actual pump is down here. So I, I much prefer these submersibles. They really do work well. They'll last for decades. What you see here, that's the float. So when there's no water in the sump, the float falls down, it switches off the pump. As the water rises, it will raise this float, turn the sump pump on, and water will be pumped up and out. So that's the way they work, and that's fine in most situations. But as I said, if you rely on your sump pump to stop your basement, your finished basement from being ruined, then you need more than this because the power can go out, the sump pump can fail, um, even the the outgoing line might get blocked in the wintertime. Maybe it'll freeze or something like that. There's a bunch of things that can happen, all of which will lead to a lot of grief in a ruined basement. And that's why this setup has a second pump in it. This is a battery backup sump pump. So uh, it it could operate on its own. I mean, this whole arrangement could function without the uh, the plug-in electric pump, just relying on this. But this battery one, uh, because this battery one does plug in as well, so it it runs off of 12 volts, the 12 volt battery that's here in this battery case, a typical largish car type battery, uh, but it's also constantly charging because it's plugged into the wall here. This is the charger, so it makes sure that things happen as it should. But my recommendation is to rely on this pump and then in the same sump have some kind of battery backup pump installed. Now, normally, this thing is not going to operate because the water level is going to have to get higher than the activation point of the plug-in pump before the battery powered pump kicks in. So if you look at this, this is a this is a float type switch. So this battery pump's not going to come on until the water level rises in this case to, to that spot here, which is quite a bit higher than the activation point of the other pump. But the idea is that this really is a backup. So it won't come on unless the power goes out and inactivates the other pump. It will also come on if the other pump fails. Um, so it, it gives you a lot of extra protection, which is what you need. You want multiple layers of safety here to protect that investment in your finished basement. Uh, I would even suggest that you actually have keep on hand replacements for these pumps. Because inevitably, you know, you got a rainstorm, the power goes out, it's you know, Saturday evening or something like that of a long weekend and the stores aren't going to be open for a while and the rain keeps coming down. And, you know, f for the cost of, of having 
spare pumps on the shelf. Uh, it, it's pretty a pretty small cost compared with the trouble that it might save you someday. So that's how they work. Most I, I have to be honest. I I have never, almost never, seen a person, who, a homeowner, who relies on their sump pump, who actually has a proper and reliable setup. Most people just have the one sump pump, and that's what they rely on, and they think it's okay but it's not. If you've got a basement that needs protecting, then you need at least two pumps working in your favor. 